machine learning and data driven products she's actually joining us here from germany today and she's also a mentor at uh, women ai academy and consulting she's actually doing a bunch of roles here with us at the at the hackathon she is a speaker today for the workshop she's been a mentor to the kids and she's been helping them with their projects and she's also been a very important part uh, while helping us plan the hackathon actually so thank you so much sara uh, i don't think we could have done this without you so uh, she and yeah of course she holds an undergraduate degree in math and stats from lsc london so thank you so much for being here sara we can't wait to see what you have for us today uh thank you so much um, i've not been a very good mentor unfortunately the teams that i was assigned to have been like really driven by themselves if anyone's <laughs> here from team 6 and team 8 i'm really sorry and i <laughs> i hope i can help you today at all <laughs> um yeah ashita is going to go ahead and introduce shilpa um I'm I'm very excited to introduce Shilpa Bhagat to you all today. She's here to uh, do a workshop on how to pitch your projects. Um, she's a gold medalist from JU and has an MBA in finance, and she's also a leadership graduate from Harvard Business School. Uh, Shilpa started her career as a banker, but had a chance win in Mrs. India World in 2013, which gave a different path for her, where she's now on her way to starting a fitness startup. and um she's an image consultant and we're really excited and lucky to have her here with us today to talk to you all about pitching your projects and to give you guys useful tips on how to do so she's a pro pitcher i can tell you that i'm <laughs> her too thank you so much for that introduction thanks a lot very very excited so you know now we'll just uh, break up into the breakout room and uh, in a minute we'll be there on there Um yeah I think we're good. Yeah Sara you can start. Um for kids to be allowed to unmute her sorry. It's Oh, I can't unmute her. I thought that was allowed the kids have been speaking sorry my bad. I can I can is this is this uh, the chat bot room then also. Yeah. Well, hello everybody. Um uh, Hi, I'm as we uh Shika kindly introduced me. I'm Sara. I'm currently based in Berlin. So today I'm going to show us all how to build a chatbot in 10 minutes. Uh <laughs> it's, it's not ambitious, but it might be um yeah, I I'm sorry if it goes over everyone's head, but if anyone's interested in using this bot for their um Uh, for the hackathon and let's sync afterwards and I can go down in more detail much slower. Um I think someone wanted to switch uh Shika. I was just checking that. Yeah. Thank you. No worries. Um but yeah, feel free to um you know message in the chat any questions or just unmute yourselves and shout out. Don't be shy. Uh it's <laughs> it's only going to be fun if um uh, yeah. we all contribute so i hope you can all see my screen i'm um, actually I should have asked this before who here is familiar with um telegram okay i see some hands um i can't see everyone could everyone type so um mahab you have do you have telegram uh, telegram desktop on your computer no not desktop Okay so let me let me show you then um okay let me show you the bot and then I'll show the steps that we need to do we need to go through to build the bot so this is um 
This is Telegram desktop. So last year I did a hackathon, which we won. And we built this bot, which was a information resource for DIY ventilators. So I'm not sure um, how uh, the ventilator situation has been in India, but a lot of countries haven't had enough light support machines. So what we did was um, we built this chat bot, which provided um, resources on how to build your own ventilator. And this won the hackathon last year. Um, and actually, I was surprised how easy it was to build the bot, but we had to put a lot of effort in to put the right information in. So you can see here, it says, ah, oh, welcome to the portal, um, choose your local communities, uh, explore some designs. These were some designs. We had an image and then some um, resources, and, like, uh, some instructions on how to click that. So I just wanted to share that with everybody, but actually what we're gonna build today is something called the Doggo Bot. And all this does is um, you put in bot, it generates a cute dog image. And I, <laughs> I love it, I think it's really cute. Um, let me see if I can share this bot with, um, with you. One second, sir. So if, if anyone has Telegram, you can try and open up the bot and you have access to the bot yourself. Um, I'm trying to see if I can open my chat as well with sharing my screen. Okay, back to sharing the screen again. Um, okay. So I'm not sure if anyone's familiar with GitHub. Has anyone worked with GitHub here? What software is this? GitHub, it's basically, um, it's a way to, it's, just, it's a way to store your code and share code really easily. So um, I'm trying to see how I can share my, oh, here, I found the chat thing. GitHub, yeah, thank you. So let me share this link with everybody. So all you need to do is just click on it and you'll have all the instructions. Um, but it, it's just, it just means now you have access to the code as well. Um, and then it has all the instructions on how to build a bot. And that's, we're gonna go through this as a group. So the step first part is um, to download a Telegram, a desktop version of Telegram. And then I don't know if anyone's brave enough to join along, but if not, let's just, just watch this. Uh, <laughs> let's watch and see how this all turns out. Um, okay, so step one download the bot, uh, telegram. Then you need to go to Botfather. Um, and that's in telegram. And as you see here, it's just a really, um, it's, it's a bot which um, welcomes you and it says, oh, I can help you do things in telegram. And to create a new one, all you have to do is do new bot. And then you uh, pick a name and that's it. You've created your first, uh, you've created the shell of the bot. I'm not gonna go through um, this right now, but I basically created one last night and I called it Girls in AI and the bot is called Girls in AI Bot. So if I click here, voila, we've created the shell of the bot. Now, what do we feed the bot? This is where Python comes into play. So let's go back to the code. How do you sell, send a telegram? What do you mean? Aisha, are you, um, do you want to, uh, would you like to speak up or could you? Um... How do you uh, download a telegram? I missed a step. Yep, sure. So I put the instructions in GitHub, but let me send everyone the link. Um, that is a good question. So that should um, be the link. And if you click on that, it should give you, um, show you this page and then it'll ask you, do you have Telegram or not? And then you just download it. So that's the first part of, um, yes, like I said, it builds, that will build the shell. But in order to actually um, tell the bot what you want to see. So in our case, we want to see these dog images. We need to actually code something. So I apologize, this is gonna be a little, um, 
a little um, uh, difficult to uh, simplify. But what I've done here is um, created, uh, well, I've given, um, shared some, um, uh, our, what, one second, sorry. Um, yeah, so Telegram is basically like WhatsApp. It's another, it's just a, a more secure version of WhatsApp. So you can message your friends, family, and build bots in Telegram as well. Um, and a lot of people, especially in this part of the world, are shifting to Telegram and Signal because of data oh. privacy issues. So if you use WhatsApp, then Telegram is um, another possible tool. I'm actually trying to click on send message. Nothing is happening. Because I really can't. Yeah, same. Are you trying to send? Um, do you want to share your screen quickly? Yes, I can do that. Um, Let's yeah. Do that. So, you'll be sharing your intimate details with all of us. <laughs> yep. So, um, you need to download it first. So, if you see above it says "Don't have Telegram," try it out now. Uh, follow that instruction. What do I do now? Maybe there's a no download button. You have to scroll yeah. down. Yeah, so poor UI of Telegram. Let's go down. Oh, go back up. Do you see where it said uh, just up a little bit? Up, up, up. Just a little bit more. Yeah, so Telegram for do you have a Mac or do you have a computer? I have a laptop. Uh, do, you so have a do you have a Windows laptop or a Windows Mac laptop? So click on the left hand side for PC. Okay, perfect. Thank you. No, no worries. Um, it's really amazing that you're doing this, uh, doing this live. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am never brave enough to do it. I, I'm actually scared of giving this live and also uh, <laughs> I'm always afraid to follow along workshops. I am terrible with computers, so it's scary. Ah, well, I, we're trying to, it'd be pretty cool if you could actually build this bot and then you'll be the computer genius. <laughs> so, um, so first um, tool that we need is something called uh, Telegram and as, um, yeah, so that's part one to build a shell of the bot. Now, the second part is we need a Python environment. Who here is familiar with Python? <laughs> I feel like we have one person that's done everything here. So he's going to have to show us how to build the bot afterwards. <laughs> so um, I put some instructions here. Um, you need your email address to, um, uh, I guess, to log into this. Um, I have a question. Yeah, sure. Uh, do you specifically have to use code anywhere? Or just I use an offline editor. Is that fine? Yes, absolutely. If you have, I've, I've, um, if you have um, an offline editor, please use an offline editor. Um, I just um, I wasn't sure what people had set up, and if you're not comfortable using this, then absolutely. Maybe you can share your offline editor with the group. Oh yeah, I mean it's the same one uh, that was discussed in the uh, in the presentation earlier in the day. It's PyCharm. Okay. Um, oh, amazing. So I also have PyCharm here. So that, that's, that's amazing. I'm going to use this just for the demo purpose now because I've set everything up, but yes, please don't um, use code anywhere. Um, and then, um, yeah, consider using your, uh, consider your PyCharm. I also have a uh, PyCharm here. <laughs> um, okay. So feel free to pick your own um, editor, but basically what's really important is a terminal. So if you're using this locally, um, do you know how to access your terminal? So you need to be able to access this on your computer. And that's why I picked something like the offline editor so you had access to everything. But if you're using PyCharm, um, one second, there's this button here called terminal, just, um, Feel free to use that and to follow the instructions. So the first part, like I said, you have to open um, the terminal and then all you need to do is um, clone the repository. So if you put this in your 
um, terminal. I don't know if, who, if, if anyone's brave enough to do that right now. Um, what that would do is it will clone the repo and then you need to um, write this here as well. But if it's easier, if I, I could just quickly show um, all the steps first and then we can try to break that break it out and then let's let's see if we can get it running on everyone's machine in the next 15 minutes um so this is the code it looks like a lot of code um but all this does is it's saying hey um call this dog image and every time um every time someone enters start call this dog image and that's it it runs that so you have access to all this code and all you need to do is put in your token. So when you go to create your bot um, here, it says use this token to access the HTTP. So you just need to replace my code uh, in my code. You need to just put in your token. Um, if any, if you don't want to use GitHub and it's all confusing and annoying, what I will do is I don't know if it's gonna work, but I'm just copy and pasting my code to everybody. I just replaced um, the token ID and then you should be, you have access to the same code. So you can do this in PyCharm. And then all you have to do in your terminal, and this is why this is the annoying part, you have to do Python and then the name of the script. And this runs the script. And then if you go into Telegram, and you click on the bot. Voila! <laughs> and every time you press start, it gives um, it gives an image. So there's a lot more things that um, that we can do. And let me just quickly demo that, and then I will um, I will stop. And then maybe we can like if someone if someone's interested in building it right now, we can we can go through it um, step by step. So I built a few variations. So here's a bot which is more uh, conversational. So this bot says, hello, how are you? I say, I am fine. But all this bot can do is just mimic what I'm saying. If I say, I am doing a demo, the bot says, got your message, I am doing a demo. So that's not very useful for us. And it'll take a lot of work to build something like this. So then I built a sort of a more intelligent bot. And let me show you the difference. Ah, I didn't like the code. So it's already being a little bit more interactive. Um, okay, so maybe I, right now it's connected to Wikipedia. So let's say I want to know about um, Michael Jackson. Oh, the bot is checking Wikipedia and it can tell me something about Michael Jackson. Okay, but how about if I want the bot to tell me something about, let's say United Nations. It doesn't seem to return anything. Okay, that sucks. What I did here was I copied and pasted some text. And this text, if you can see here, has the 17 sustainable development goals. I know we're working with five. But based on this text now, let me let me let me ask a bot. What are the sustainable And you see here, it picked up all the goals. So now let's go back to this question. Tell me about United Nations. I want the bot to be able to answer this question. So all I can do is I can Google United Nations and copy and paste some code. I can put that in this text file here. And I will go through this and um, if anyone's interested, we can do this after um, the demo. Um, I save this. And now I asked about the same question. Um, what is the United Nations? 
And you see here, it was now able to pick up. It's not perfect. There's a little bit of cleaning that still needs to be done, but it can at least respond. So by you can use this text file to put in some information that you're collecting, and then the bot should be able to produce that. And if you want, you can be really, um, you can clean up, you can clean this up, you can make this what is United Nations. But and then if we do the same thing, what is the United Nations? <laughs> that didn't work. Um, okay, I apologize, that didn't work. I need to think, do that. Nope, unfortunately this did not work, which I thought it should, but I could do a little bit of tidying up and we should be able to then be able to read text really quickly. So the idea would be just copy and paste the information in here and then the bot should be able to pick it up. I apologize that example didn't work. Um, so that's how you could build a bot in 10 minutes. Um, I know it's a lot and it requires a few uh, technologies, but if anyone's actually interested in building this bot live, then we can, yeah, let's let's go through someone else's screen and um, let's let's do that then. Who wants to show who is trying it right now? Someone downloaded Telegram, right? A lot of steps behind, so I need help. Nita is still making the bot, so. Yeah, no worries. I, like I said, Louis, the idea was to give the demo. It's a lot to take in. So do you want to share your screen and we can go through the steps together? It's OK. okay I've been trying to assign a username to this. Oh, no way. Okay, well, this is great then. So we can now, uh, we can do some debugging together. And this is, I guess, much better. So, yep, try that. Okay. Yay. Okay. <laughs> That's why I didn't want to do this live, because I know how annoying this stuff is. <laughs> so, <laughs> so now if you click on this uh, sizzle gaggle bot. This one. Yep. You've created your shell of your bot. So this will not produce anything right now, because you have no code. Oh, but you've created your shell. So congratulations for building your first bot. Yes. And now if you go so back I to the bot. Start. Yeah. Yes, but it won't give you anything because you haven't programmed anything yet. So I will copy paste the code. Yes, exactly. So if you go to PyCharm. PyCharm? No, I ha yeah, I have PyCharm here. Yep. This one, no. So you can just copy and paste the code I um, said sure. in the chat. Okay. Just hold on one minute. Yeah, the code is in the chat. So, control C. Yeah. So you have all the code, amazing. Um, so if you scroll to the top, the top right yeah just remove all the extra stuff otherwise um what you can do is um if you want if you go to click on the terminal and remove that one yeah. yeah actually um go on let's let's be i think you you'll be able to do this you've got everything set up really well if you click on i uh, don't i uh, don't do this okay. if you go to um just uh, it's okay um go to terminal at the bottom where right next to problems Mm -hmm. um, click on it. Yeah. yeah, one second. I'll send you the um, the code that you need to do. But I've copy pasted everything. Yeah, oh, don't worry. We'll. Um... So the code's all in here. So basically just copy and paste this git clone and this HTTPS file that I just sent and put, copy and paste that into your terminal. Okay. This file. So you just copy this line git clone. Only this link. Yep. 
Okay. I'll keep sharing your screen. Don't don't be like yeah. Don't don't be. Uh... <laughs> I think I need to stop the screen because if I want to access the chat box, so I can just like copy it here. Okay, this much. So do Git clone. Sorry, uh, G I T. G I T is supposed to be before that. Yeah. So do G I T. In your terminal. Stay in your terminal. Let me see if I can. Um... G I T clone. Yep, you have to copy and paste the whole thing. Okay. So all the code is in here. So if everyone just wants to click in um, here, you'll have access to all the code. But how to clone the code, um, you do the git clone, which we were going to hopefully achieve. And, and and really, this is like this business is level stuff. So don't be like, don't be, uh, don't be. This. Okay, why can't I delete this? No, it's okay. Don't just uh, start typing GIT. Don't worry. Just start typing GIT. Okay, GIT clone, yeah. Yep, yeah, just start typing. Uh, okay, it's because you don't have. Um, okay, okay, that's a shame. Okay, you just you can't clone it because it's not installed. No worries. Um, I didn't realize that was a blocker. So let me just go back to what we were doing and sharing the code then. Um, So if you go open up the um, GitHub repo that I sent you, you can just open the H. But otherwise, I just sent you the code again. And if you want, I'll send it in smaller chunks. Hi. Uh, so we're supposed to take the code that you just sent in the chat box and put it on yes, PyCharm? Yes. Exactly. OK. All right. And you can remove up to the yep. It's perfect, perfect. OK, I did that. Yeah, 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 I love the live demo. I think this is so cool. So if you just um, delete the first line, import request. Uh, no, no. So just um, uh, so just um, uh, move this extra space. Okay. I'm now sorry. I'm going business mode on everybody. Okay, perfect. So um, what you need to do is you see this your token. Please replace that with your token. And you also need to delete everything. Yeah. Um, yeah. Ah, oh, beautiful. <laughs> okay. um, so this you see here on line five. Line five. Yep, you have your token. Replace that with your bot token. Bot token. No, no, uh, 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 no, no. Um, uh, uh, leave it as it was. C uh, control Z. Control Z. Yep. Do you see that in here is where it says one six three five nine zero? You want to replace it with your token in your bot. So if you go to your t um, Telegram bot, you have your own token ID. You need to put your token ID in. And where is that? So go to your bot father. Exactly. And you see here it says use this token to access it this here. Perfect. Ah, oh, beautiful. Yay. <laughs> yeah. And you just need to re replace that there. Um, I'm actually having difficulty on in the Telegram part. Um, okay. No chats are being shown. It's just saying your chats will. You have to first type uh, um, a slash no, like, name. Want something? name bot. Yeah. I'm sorry. Well, let. You have to type slash name bot. Then only you can see the chats. Name bot or something. I forgot what was it called. Wait, hold on. Um, I think it's here, this one. Yeah, you need to type this new bot, sorry. New bot. Let's, let's, yeah. Oh, thank you for sharing that. Let's, let's do one at a time quickly because we're very close okay, with this one. It's going to be really cool to see. Um, okay, perfect. So now if you go to your terminal. Terminal is this. Yep. I need, so what you need to do is you need to tell Python to connect to um, Telegram. Exactly. But before we do that, you need to install some libraries. So I need you to type some things in your um, Telegram. So if you could just copy and paste this code that I just sent. To the board. Um, nope. I sent them in the chat. If you go to the chat. Okay. pip install python okay 
you so go? this is really amazing you're doing this live because this is really uh this is really <laughs> this is a lot you're basically ready to do that all so and i have to do the entire team project myself like the pitching everything and i know absolutely nothing oh my god this is so amazing that you're doing this right now because this is you're yeah, basically yeah. a senior yeah. data scientist right yeah. now do i paste it here uh, nope so if you go back to pie chart yeah. And you see where it says um, where you were typing in the terminal, just where you have uh, just paste it there. Paste it. And press enter. Enter. Yay. I didn't know all this happened. Okay. This is this is amazing. So what you're doing right now is you're telling Python, I need this library, download this library. So this is really, really advanced. Stuff that it is not a this is not a kid friendly workshop. I'm sorry. <laughs> so this is amazing that you downloaded that. So I think like wow, amazing. Installed by the Telegram bot. Okay. Yep, amazing. So if you scroll up to your uh, back to your code in this um, main.py. Mm -hmm. Okay, you um it should work. But if you just want to go back to your terminal. Okay. And now type in pip install. Pip install. Yep. Um, request. Uh, with an S at the end. Requests. Yes, perfect. And just do that. Oh, nice. Beautiful. Okay. Now, after this is installed, you're going to write um, Python. Python main a main m i n y the name of like the name of your file m i n y uh m i uh, sorry m a i n <laughs> sorry i just have to speak still dot p y for the name of this file that you have uh, yep so put a dot after main okay main dot p y exactly let's see if this works okay so you're running your script now Ooh, now if you go to your bot, let's see if it works. So I, click on your click on your sizzle bot or go to sizzle. Yep, yeah, put in start. Start, I put the start. Put in, yeah, put in again. Wow, congratulations. Oh, wow. You built your bot best bot. is like the main bot where we can create any bot. Like, you like, have the code. Oh, what, sorry? From like bot, bot father is the main thing from where we can create any bot. Like, we can exactly. But now you need, you can replace your main script with any of the other scripts to create more complicated bots. So if you um if you want I, to do I want a bot in my website which I'm creating for the project. So how would I do that? For your website, um I don't have the solution right now, but what I've done is provided a framework that you could use. So you could um what you could do is you could maybe integrate this bot into your website, but that's maybe more complicated. But I provided some code so that you could build um a text bots as well. Which yeah, is like the AI bot. For my SDG basically, and since I don't know anything, so. But now you can use, uh, so you built the framework, so now you can just replace the code, but, um, and use anything. Uh, but that's that's super amazing what you did. Um, so, it's, and before, um, before I can I can show you how you can use it on your SDG, maybe we could do it after the scheduled time. Yes, Is anyone else? Absolutely. Thank you. So I can. Much. I can, I can, we can sync afterwards. Is anyone else still stuck or was yeah. interested? Um, I was just, I was trying it out. And other than regex, uh, all the other um, libraries that are, they're like getting errors. Okay, so you just need to install them. Do you want to share your screen as well? Uh, yeah, never mind. But, but I, I'm, I'm super impressed. Like I, I can, uh, no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's go to yours now. Oh, which one did you pick? Oh, you picked, you went straight to the advanced one. Okay, did you try the dog bot first? Uh, no, I, I mean, I just, um, 
Yeah, so the AI bot will need a lot more libraries. And what you would do then, you would have to, ins uh, so if you look at, go back to the GitHub instructions. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I don't think I'm using all my windows, but I have it open. Okay, so you see in the instructions, it says um, pip install minus r requirements.txt. Yeah. You need to uh, copy and paste that into your terminal. And what that does is it'll bring all the libraries that we need. Okay. Perfect. So you'll see one by one, all the libraries will start to. Oh, um, do, um, sorry, do CD um, girls in AI. So you have to go into the directory. Yep. And now, um, now a type that. Perfect. Okay. And now you should um, do the same as um, we just saw. You need to put in the code, put in your token from your bot. So you pick the you pick the most. Uh, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes, I I mean I was just trying to follow what was on the GitHub. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You pick the pick the most complicated one. Ah, but really impressive, everyone. Wow, that you were able to pick this up uh, so quickly. Um, yeah, this is very, <laughs> this is true, true, real life work you're doing right now. <laughs> oh, that's another way of, uh, I, I'm glad that you learned PyCharm. I, I was, um, what's happened here? Scroll down, scroll down. Mm. It didn't seem to like that. If you just scroll down to the bottom of your terminal. Oh, right. Uh, go to, um, a, a click on terminal next to run, after next to Python console. Yeah, maybe just run it. Oh, the thing is, um, okay, yeah. So um, you see here, um, you have two environments. One is called the VNV and you're coded outside of the environment. So you're installing the libraries in your environment, not um, there. So we need to move, we need to just redo everything. So if you just start by cloning, just do git clone again. Uh, git clone inside, so. Yep, so if you write it in your terminal, it'll be okay then. So if you just do, so in front, no, I scroll down. So, yep, go here, do git clone. Did you copy and paste the code manually or did you? No, I uh, just got, yeah, copy paste. Yeah. yeah, okay, fine, because you don't have git set up. One second, let me um, figure out how to deactivate the environment. Do you know how to deactivate it? Did you learn in your code to? Um... No, I did not. One second, that was. Um... Okay, if you go to your terminal, um, this won't work because I don't think you have Git set up. I didn't realize that was in. Um... Uh, just uh, delete this line of code and just do um, deactivate. And then space V E N V. Perfect. Now, if you do pip install, uh, the pip install minus r requirements dot text. Perfect. Uh, yeah. So this is this is why I was avoiding using PyCharm because you have like different environments. Um, yeah. And now I'm unsure how to get your environments in place, one second. Mm. Or the other option is that we activate your environment and then we just copy and paste the girls in AI folder into VNB. That would probably be the easiest. Um, 
so I'm I think you write V and um, or you write activate V and V. Nope, or do source V and V. One second, one second. Uh, I think source was correct. It said no directory found. Is that because I did that CD girls in AI earlier? No, so we're trying to reactivate your thing. I just um, don't have the correct code for it. One second. Um, I'm not very good with environments. Does anyone remember how you were um, brought to this environment? So, so you will have to do a source name of the environment. Uh, bn slash bin slash activate. Ah, perfect. Thank you, Nishta. It's not bent, it's V-E-N-V. -E I'm so sorry, it's just autocorrect. Or I, yeah. Yeah, so I guess the first step is we go to the terminal. Um, I guess just click on the terminal and you can basically activate your environment and then run the code. So then it shouldn't have this reference issues. Yeah. Um, I, I didn't get who, who, who is sharing the uh, screen again. Uh, can I know the name? My name's Adan. Uh, again, I, I didn't hear you. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. Adan. Uh, OK, cool. Um, could you go to the terminal um, right next to the local tab on the bottom? Yeah. Um, Okay. Um, the thing is, I so, uh, uh, if you just type source, yes, source and B E N V exactly slash, slash. bin slash activate right. Just enter. Okay, so your B E N V is not in this directory. Uh, Okay, can you just give L S possibly and uh, find out? Hold on. Yeah, exactly. It's because you're in a different yeah, okay, yeah. Just do C D dot dot. Uh, C D space dot dot. <laughs> and I think now it should work. Awesome. Perfect. Now, if you just copy and paste your girls in AI folder into your VNV folder. Um, yay, perfect. Now you can run your script that you're trying to run. It should work. Oh, um, uh, you have some error in your code. So if you look under, yep, yeah, just delete that. Perfect. Now run that. Um, it looks like it's running. So if you go to your Telegram bot, uh, we can't we can't see that part of the screen, so we're missing all the magic. <laughs> yeah. You might want to reshare. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how about now? Oh, yep. And then do press hashtag start, and hopefully it works. Um, a forward slash. Yay! <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. Oh, no, thank you. And thank you uh, to all the women contributing and helping. This is why I didn't want to use PyCharm live. I was like, no, I can't deal with different environments live. It's too much. But thank you. Thank you, everyone. Um, sorry, who was the person that did the chat up before? Who was the first one who did the live demo? It was Ritima. Oh, okay. 
Amazing. No, that was amazing as well. Um, but yeah, if you want to, um, we can then go through in more detail how you can build the bot related to your project, but maybe we can do that on another call. Um, so I will message on Discord. Um, does anyone else want to quickly try or is brave enough to try? But really amazing. Congratulations. We have two, um, we have two computer geniuses in the house. <laughs> That was awesome, guys. Anyone else wants to share their screen? I mean, we don't only have Sarah here, but we have Nisha and Sonia as well. Yes, Nidhi, you have a question. Uh, I would like to try. Sorry, who Yay, is Yay, go for it. Uh, but she maybe, awesome. yeah, uh, sure. yeah, and if people uh, don't want to stay, I think it's okay to, yeah, feel free to, uh, I think it's optional for everyone. Um, don't, yeah, don't feel obliged to stay, but Nidhi, go on, let's do this. <laughs> I think there was somebody else who said they wanted to try. Who was that? I let the children do it first. And yeah. Then, yeah. Uh, yeah. Shloka, should I share my screen? Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. Oh, wow. This is so cool. <laughs> and I like to say it takes less than 10 minutes, even oh. with complications. So. <laughs> Um, maybe, sorry, who's sharing? Google. It's difficult to see, see the names. Shloka. Uh, Shloka. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. Okay, amazing. Did you build your Telegram? I got one. Yeah, I've done that. And okay, did you that's... put your token? No, I have no idea what to do, how to do that. Okay, so let's go to your Telegram bot first. Mm -hmm. Are you sharing your screen uh, with the Telegram box? We can't see it. Okay, just a second. Yeah, can you see it? Yes, amazing. Okay, okay so if you click on start mm -hmm. um, at the bottom, yep, and do hashtag new bot. Okay. Uh, forward slash, sorry, not three. Yeah. I press enter um, and now to follow the instructions. Um, what would you like to call your bot? Just pick a name. Um, you give your own name. Okay. And also, sorry, I forgot to mention once you have the code running in your terminal, you can share your bot with your friends. So this is a functional <laughs> bot. <laughs> uh, yep, cool. so feel free to. <laughs> it's 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 super cool. I I love to nerd out on these bots. <laughs> yeah. Um, yep. Yeah, so just uh, maybe call it shloka underscore bot or shloka bot, whatever mm -hmm. you prefer. Yeah. Um, just put shloka. And that's it. Uh, you need to do the next part. You need to now create it with the bot. I don't know why it needs both. Um, you need might do a capital B. Yep, with a capital B. Okay, you'll have a few attempts of this. Try shloka underscore bot, see if that works. I'll just try this. Ugh. Mm. Okay. You can't do capital. So uh, try shloka underscore underscore bot. Okay. I'll maybe some crazy name, a fun name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe, I, that's why I didn't want to do this live. I was like, this is- uh, The crazier the name, the more hard it is to remember. Uh, it will um, always be in your bot, so don't worry. Oh, okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, uh, shloka, try shloka, shloka underscore BOT without the capital B and it might work. Okay. But this is actually what takes up 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, try, try okay. shloka test underscore bot. Sorry, you're gonna have to do lots of variations now. Maybe you can we'll watch and, and, and hope. <laughs> No, I think just go ahead with random names the and first word that I see I'm just putting in. Yeah, I'll just rip it. Oh my gosh. Replace it has to end with bot, bot. that's the thing. Bot. Okay, right, shloka okay. Python underscore bot and hopefully it works. Yeah, this is this is a uh, sorry, this is the annoying part of this. <laughs> okay. Know, like there you go. Yay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Finally. So you see this token here? So if you want to mm. click on your bot, so you've already built the, the shell for your bot, so feel free to click on shloka python underscore bot. Uh, shloka just above. Uh, shloka, you just need to click on the, I don't know, sorry, the screen's frozen or, or yeah. So you click on the uh, uh, shloka python underscore bot. 
skip. Okay. Oh, who did okay. that? Thank you. Yeah. So that's a shell for your bot. Now, if okay. you go back to bot father. Okay. Um, and then you see this, use the token to access the HTTP API. Mm -hmm. Yep, copy that because we need that to build your bot. Cool, mm -hmm. so copy that. And let's go into PyCharm. Okay. 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 Yep, and if you scroll back up into the main.py, scroll to the top and you see where it says your token, just replace it um, where replace a 1635 with your token number. And you need it to be in strings because it's giving an error. So just put it in, um, uh, put a quotation mark before and after. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so as we saw um, before, now you need to just install the libraries that you need. So, um, I'm just going to send that to you in the chat as well. So uh, if you go into the terminal where, so just click in the terminal now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, beautiful. Now do pip install. Oh, where? Where your, where your cursor is, just start typing PIP. PYP. PIP. Oh, okay. PIP. Space install. I'm sorry? Uh, space. Okay, install. Install, yep, space, Python, and then a hyphen, mm -hmm. and then telegram, a hyphen. How do you remember oh. all of this stuff? Oh, I don't, I'm quite reading. <laughs> okay. Instructions on, don't worry. <laughs> yeah. okay, this, okay. Is, this is so amazing what you're doing right now, live. Like, this is this was how I learned Python. Like installing yeah. libraries was like the, my first target. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you're I'm also grateful to be learning from you. Oh no, I, I am I'm amazed by I can't believe we've had three live demos. It's uh, amazing. <laughs> all of you are just wow either this was too easy or you're all just way ahead of the curve uh, i know nothing just like Radhima, i know nothing about this oh, oh no no We're super, brave. super yeah. brave to come up and do this oh, it's so Thank impressive you. um this is amazing um just press enter and you've installed your first library okay and then i think you also need to do pip install requests Yeah, maybe uh, it's also nice to know what pip does. <laughs> it's like if you're on Windows, um, we generally download an installer and say click next, next, run, next, next, yes, agree. And then finally the app is installed. Well, pip does the same thing. Just the difference is that we're on command line and that's it. And it's pip is something just for Python based libraries. That's the only difference. So we're basically installing stuff. Yeah, that's that's about yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. It's just another. It's an. But again, in Python, it, there's so many ways to install stuff as oh, well. Yes, yeah, it's yeah. the basic. So if you know yeah, install, you can it. put that on your CV. True, <laughs> <laughs> true. Junior data scientist in the making here. Okay, yeah. just one more pip install. Pip install request. Okay. Uh, with a space. So pip space install. Oh, thank okay. you. Ah, yes, that's the part about the terminal. The mouse doesn't work, so you have to go back again and then the space. Yeah. And the terminals are still, I think terminals are still sitting in the DOS life. <laughs> they haven't progressed from there. There's no <laughs> control V, control C. Uh, <laughs> no, we don't need to <laughs> we don't need to uh, complain about the, the functionalities right now request yes. um, no, re request req u e f e u e s t s and s afterwards oh okay yeah and press enter and that's basically now you've got all the libraries you need to run the file Okay. And now we just once that's installed, we're going mm -hmm. to run your script, which is called main.py. Mm -hmm. So if you type Python, uh, Python, T-H-O-N, beautiful. 
a space main.py. And congratulations. After you press enter, you've executed a script. It's done. Yay. OK. OK. All right. Now, if you go to your bot. Yeah. All right. All right. Can you see it? Uh, yep. So click on to your Shloka Python bot. No, no, you don't need to go okay. here. But you have to. Oh, you have to open your bot. So if you click on Shloka Python bot, and click on Start, it should hopefully generate an image. And if it doesn't, just type Start again. Okay. Did you put in your Telegram I, I, a, a token? We can double check something's not working. Let's go back into your terminal. Okay. Um, oh, yay, it just was being a bit slow. If you go, go to your bot, it's working. It's Oh my gosh, yay, thank you so much. And if you much. want, you can share that with your friends or anyone with Telegram and they can also play with your bot. So it's mm -hmm. currently running on your Python. So eventually you have to close it mm -hmm. obviously um, with yeah. uh, control C, but um, you can share this and play okay. around with this. And then obviously if you okay. want to build users for the hackathon, then message me on Discord and I'll go through them more. Uh, I'll show All you right. some ways that we, we could do that. But yeah, right. voila, you thank you so much. No worries, congrats, that's amazing. <laughs> Is there anybody else that wants to, wants to build a bot in 10 minutes? <laughs> I'm just very happy it actually takes 10 minutes. <laughs> So can I try? Yes, who was that? Do we have any other child wanting to? Because I just got to this part and downloaded PyCharm. I have no idea how that works. You can also use a cloud editor if you prefer. I, You don't have to use PyCharm. I just downloaded it while you were. So let me, okay. I'll just show my screen to you. This. Yeah, I um, I will also mute my Discord because it is <laughs> going. So I've got this. And this is my Telegram. One second. It's uh, just loading. Uh, I am sorry to interfere in between. Uh, just a question. Uh, if the other guys who are part of team one uh, and so on, is it okay if they can leave? I'm, I want to know from the organizers as well, because um, they want to go and work on their own stuff again, because they have a meeting. So would it be fine that they leave this meeting and then join the uh, team? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, of course. Okay. Anyone that is, is not doesn't want to learn anymore, please um, feel free to go. And anyone that wants to... Um, I uh, uh, think about using this for the workshop. Please message me on Discord. Yeah, actually, okay, some mentors are, are available today till 6 p.m. So I think team one have, was supposed to have a meeting. Yes, that's the reason I'm asking. <laughs> Sorry. That's all, yeah. No, no, yeah, that's fine. I yeah, want to do the project. So, like, when can you do that? Um. But yeah, Sarah, before the students leave, like some students leave, I just want to thank you so much. It was honestly an amazing workshop. I mean, we built three bots and wow. the bot we built. So honestly, it was awesome. Uh, the kids enjoyed it and I can't wait to build my bot after. <laughs> <laughs> See, I, wouldn't, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't attempt this live. I would not have the guts to do that. So yeah, I'm no, amazing, amazing, amazing work. Um, I'm available all day to help anyone who wants to build